Hi guys, I hope you're well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a primary school teacher here in Dubai. This video is sponsored by Mayam and in this video we're going to be talking about a range of different strategies to support children with reading at home, to try and get them more engaged and more involved with reading at home, hence being sat in a library. So in this video I want to share a range of different ideas, so let's start off with number one. Number one, model reading for pleasure. Children will copy the actions of adults. So if you're likely to read at home, children are likely to do that too. So try to model reading at home as much as possible. Pick up the books that you are interested in. This will encourage children to copy the actions that they see, which means that they're more likely to read at home and enjoy that process too. Number two, remove barriers. Children are more likely to pick up books if they are surrounded by them. It's quite challenging to pick up books when they're all stashed underneath a bed. So make sure that there are inviting areas where children want to come and pick up books. So there's lots of different examples of this. You could create a reading area in your home. You could have a reading area in the child's bedroom, but making sure that the setting is created in a way that children can come and just readily pick up a range of different books is fantastic. At the same time, when it comes to making reading accessible, sometimes books aren't always accessible, especially if you're going away for summer, carrying these books alone would be quite heavy. This is where the sponsor of this video, Myon, comes in. Myon is a fantastic reading platform that gives children access to over 6,000 books that are specifically tailored to their interest. Along with that, children have access to either reading the version themselves or a read out version. Children can then annotate the books as they go along. The books are then specifically targeted towards their level. They have access to a slider, which means that they can choose a range of different books that they are interested in. So making sure that children have access to both digital and physical books is a great way to make reading more accessible. Thank you to Myon for sponsoring this video. Next point is making sure that the children have a range of different books accessible to them too. Not just Captain Underpants, although it's a great book, making sure that the children have a range of different inclusive books so that they can really engage on a deeper level with a wide range of different books. So you might have a range of different books like we've got here, but you might also have some that are specifically tailored to minority focus groups and just making sure that they have that access to inclusive books too. One thing that was really key from Renaissance's recent research was that Books are still popular today that were back in my time. So you're looking at things such as Jeff Kinney and JK Rowling, who are still extremely popular authors. So if children are struggling to read, this is where you can come in as a supportive individual. Not only do I mean modeling reading at home yourself, you can also model reading to the children. Having more time at home over summer gives you a fantastic opportunity to read books at home with the child too. Sharing that process will also invite the children to enjoy that process as well. So yeah, try and open up those times where you can sit and read books together, especially when they're more likely to be at home. So next point is giving children more time to browse the shelves. This can be fantastic if you go to the local library. Like I'm in now, libraries have a fantastic range of books. This is something that I still remember doing as a child. And if I remember it, that means it's extremely exciting to go to the library. You get your card, you get to go out and choose all the different books that you are interested in. You can then be part of that process of talking about specific authors. And then at the end of the day, you go and check those books out and you know you've only got a certain amount of time to read that. It becomes a really engaging process. So making sure that the children just have time to go and pick out those different books, but don't just rush them into that, right, yeah, you, Captain Underpants is there, off you go. Let them just go and browse the shelves. It might look unproductive. However, they're exploring the range of literature that is available. Next tip is time to read. Give children time to read. Set aside specific time where the children are able to read books because that is important too. Set time aside to talk about the books that the children are reading. We often set time aside to read together or to let children just read full stop, but we rarely have time to sit down and talk about the books that we are reading. A fantastic example of this is sitting down for dinner and talking about the different books that you're reading. Adults can share the different fiction tales in an appropriate manner. <laughs> and then you can also sit and invite children to talk about the books that they're reading. This gives great comprehension skills because the children need to summarise what they've read, which is again a skill that they need here in primary school too. So this is a great way to not only get children reading and invite them to be more engaged with that reading, but also to really think about what they're reading too. Finally, reading challenges. Reading challenges are a fantastic way to get children to be a little bit more motivated. 
Reading challenges don't have to be incentivized, where people often think they do. A reading challenge can simply be something like a bingo board where children throughout the summer need to cross off a range of different books. So it might be that they need to read a fiction book, a book by a specific author, a non-fiction book, uh, an inclusive book of some sort. There's lots of different examples of these bingo templates that you can use, but then that way children only have a specific amount of time to read X amount of books and then the children cross those off and try and get through that process throughout something like the summer, which makes it a little bit more exciting, means that you're not incentivizing everything with a reward, but means that the children get that intrinsic challenge too. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much to Renaissance Learning and Mayan for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go and check out other videos of mine. And if you haven't already had a chance to subscribe to the channel, you can do that too. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Until then, enjoy your time reading. I'm like...